Hey everybody, this is Shane Norman Rowe, and today we are going to show you what an IR illuminator is for. So this little guy, um, they're about 25 bucks at Amazon, and the purpose of this is to bathe darkness in infrared light so that security cameras can see people that are trying to sneak onto your property or do terrible things. So, but also what also uses light to track is the Oculus Quest. So part of the Oculus Quest uses cameras to see the environment around you and to do tracking. In pure darkness, those of you who have Oculus Quest know that you cannot use one of these guys in pure darkness. You have to have a certain type of light, a certain amount of light. Sometimes sunlight will um, affect you. So if you want to play in the dark or you have a poorly lit room, which actually I do happen to have a poorly lit living room, or maybe you just want to play outside when it's cool at night. It's Phoenix, Arizona here and it's very, very hot in the daytime. Maybe you wanna go outside and play your quest. Sometimes you go outside and you try to play your quest, it's like it's not tracking, it's not working very well, what's going on? Reason is, is sunlight actually doesn't make this work very well. But at night, you can use an IR illuminator. So what we're gonna do is, I, we're gonna go outside and I am going to show you what the night looks like with and without this little guy. So let's do it. All right, so now we're outside, and as you can see from the video, it's essentially telling me that I've left my guardian. I'm gonna have to make another guardian. Um, as you can also see, the light's on out here. I've got cars driving home behind me. Um, when I turn off the porch light, it's gonna be very, very dark out here. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and set myself a stationary boundary. Put that, and I'll turn on the pass-through. And you can see now I'm outside in my stationary boundary. And there's plenty, of, there's plenty of light right now, so I should be able to track okay right now. But when my son, Brian, turns off the light, which he's going to do right now, you will see us bathed in complete darkness. Darkness in three, two, three. Whoa. In fact, as you'll notice, the quest actually said, I can't find anything. Now it wants me to do a Nagardian. It's too dark in my play area. I can't see anything. So Brian is now gonna plug in the IR illuminator, which is, if you're following my fingers, it's right over there. He, gonna, he, they can't see your fingers. I know. Well, they can see where I'm pointing. No, they, they can't see anything. No, but they can see, never mind. just do it. Plug it in. I am trying, it is hard to do with one hand. I know, if you can't do it with one hand. You oh, can. I can, just, there we go. And plug in. suddenly, <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna get Whoa, a. Oh, I am once again bathed in light. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create a boundary now. Mind if I get a quick shot of the the light? You just walked in front of the light. It's not that bright. Okay, so stay, move out of the way. That way. Move that way. That way? Okay. There. So now you can see, look, it actually looks like it's daytime out here. I can actually go ahead. Not here, it doesn't. Well, unfortunately, with my back to the light, it blocks it out. I'll just do a stationary boundary. Confirm. Switch to stationary. And confirm. So as you can see now, I can actually I can actually track. It can see the areas around me, um, and there you can see. Put my hand in front of it. You can actually see the illuminator lighting up the area. Now this is a smaller uh, IR illuminator. You can get stronger ones or bigger ones. This I really bought to put in my living room <laughs> versus outside. But as you can see, I mean it looks daytime out here, and it really. It's not. Brian, will you unplug it one more time? Unplug it one more time? Yeah. You got it. Just in case you thought I was fooling you. I'm gonna, uh, boom. It is dark. All right. You want me to plug Brian, it back in? Plug it back in, please. You got it. Just give me a second. It's pitch black over here, too. I know. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry I don't though. care. Just, they don't know what's going on. The fact that I'm struggling to plug this in. And there is light. Oh! Now, if I were to move more to the side, perhaps I could have a, I could actually do a proper boundary. But you can see my yard is, and that's pretty illuminated. Now, if I really wanted to do this right, I would get two illuminators. I'd put one right over there, and I'd put one right over here, and my whole area would be bathed. And even if I turned to draw my boundaries, it would still work. So um, for something like Beat Saber, I could literally sit right here and play Beat Saber, and I'd have no problems whatsoever. If I wanted to do something a little more 360 and I wanted to turn around, um, I may have problems doing that if I'm blocking the light. 
also outside it's a great opportunity if you like you know you have a very low ceiling so that there's nothing out here to right. hit. Right and we do actually have a very low ceiling and if you're playing games where you're reaching up going like this it'd be a lot easier to play outside. He almost put his hand through the fan. I almost right? put my hand through it several times <laughs> but especially those of you playing Echo VR and things like that that want to go outside and do it at night when it's cooler summertime's coming up the IR illuminator is the, is the best way to do it and again if you had a couple of them you could run a little extension cord and put one right over there and one right over there, you would have a perfect bathe of light and you could play outside to your heart's content and have plenty of room and not break your hands, break your controllers, break your head. I hope you enjoyed this look. Oh, you can't even see me because it's too dark. <laughs> Finally, turn the light back on. I got so used to having so much light. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look at the IR Illuminator. They're about 25 bucks at Amazon. Be very careful, I will warn you, not all of them come with a power supply and they don't use a standard power supply they're not something you're gonna have laying around the house it doesn't use like a USB or anything like that you actually have to have a certain type of plug for that so make sure the ones you buy either come with an adapter or if you get one that, like mine that did not have an adapter you order one with it I hope you enjoyed please subscribe to the channel hit that little bell down there to get our latest videos thanks so much for watching I'm Shane Armonroe we'll see you next time